Totally snowing outside. I need to go back in church, but I just wanted to come out here and see the snow. It's snowing for the first time in years. And it, okay, it's getting all over me. I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> it's snowing. Okay. This little girl won't let me record my my tutorial. She keeps sitting in my lap. Look, I did her makeup. Look. Eyeshadow on. Close your eyes so they can see your eyeshadow. Yes. You gonna let me make my video? <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But you can't sit right here. My guitar has to sit in my lap, not you. <laughs> you see how that works? Watch. Stand right here. Let me show you. I have to pick up my guitar and put it right here so that I can teach them the chords. Mm -hmm. This is a very easy and simple way to play um, best part by Daniel Cesar and her. So um, I'm going to get right into it and teach you the four chords that you need to know. And these are not going to be the full sounding chords because this is the easy way to play it. Um, I'll show you the hard way to play it if you want at the end if you want to make it sound more full. But this is like when you're first starting off and want to play it. Ready? The first one I'm going to teach you is what we'll call chord number one. It's the bottom three strings on the second fret and you just you just pinch like that the top and the bottom all right and then the second number two is a minor seven which is the second from the bottom on the first fret and then the second from the or third from the oh fourth from the top <laughs> fourth from the top on the second fret. So it'd be the one right in the, like in the middle, right there. And then you just pinch it again. All right, and then the third chord is, you move down to the third fret right here. You play the very top and the second from the bottom right here. And then you just pinch. All right, so then it's just like that. That's a very simple way to play that chord. And then for the fourth, you slide down to the sixth fret. Shh, Taylor, Taylor. You slide down to the sixth fret, playing those same two, and you just pinch. Oh, Oops, sorry. It's not going to sound exactly right, but then again, this is the easy way to play it. A little sweaty, sorry. <laughs> then you just sing the song you don't know baby when you hold me and kiss me slowly it's the sweetest thing and it don't change my way you don't know that you are you would know that you are you're the coffee that i need in the morning you're the sunshine in the rain when it's pouring won't you give yourself to me i don't really know the song yet i'm still learning it but this is like an easy way to get you started I'm, i just now learned this yesterday so i'm just wanting to share with you guys because i know a lot of people say that they can't do the full chords because it's like they're like my fingers don't do that so in order to make it the full chord for let me see what this is called i can't remember Hold on. g major seven for the number three chord that i taught you in order for it to be the full chord you have to do top second from bottom and then your ring finger is third from top on the fourth fret and fourth from top on the fourth fret can you see that And you still won't play out this one because it kind of, it's muted strings. So just, just kind of like rub up right there. And then you slide down to the sixth fret with your finger. 
See, it's not that much that big of a difference to me. I prefer playing things as simple as possible because I'm mostly focusing on singing instead of playing guitar because I'm not like guitar is not my number one instrument, my voice is. So um, I don't know why it's so hot in here. My fingers are sweaty. <laughs> Sorry. So it, you may want to like press down sometimes whenever you're holding multiple strings, like if you're barring a chord, it helps if you press it down if you don't need your middle finger. That's what I do, kind of help press it down. You don't know, baby, when you hold me and kiss me slowly, it's the sweetest thing. I hope you like this easy tutorial for best part. Practice it every day for like a few days and you'll have it down and you'll be able to make your cover or play it for your friends or whatever you're trying to do. Thanks and let me know if you want me to break down a simple way to play another song. I would love to help you out. This is my audience today. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>thank you for your support we're already up to like over 280 subscribers just since the last month uh that i started doing this and wanted to um up my subscriber count thank y'all so much uh y'all are subscribing because of the vlogs and the reaction videos so i'm gonna keep those coming and i also have some exciting things i have uh, some guitar tutorials that i'm gonna do and also some more covers and some original stuff so stay tuned for more on this channel thank you so much and have a great end of your week too. It's Friday. <laughs>